Legend of Total War here, and this is a part 14 of the Drunken Ireland campaign, uh, Drunken Total War, and I'm here with Kirilla the Dacian. Uh, so tell us a bit about yourself, Kirilla. Yep. I'm a Dacian. So does that mean you live in Hungary or Romania? Um, Romania, like, yeah. Cool. Keep going. Tell us more. Um, I um, the total world is my favorite franchise. Uh, of what it was until uh, Rome two, and <laughs> okay, fair yeah, enough. you are the first uh, you, uh, total war YouTuber I uh, subscribe to because of your medieval total war one with the Danes. The oh campaign. yeah. Okay. It, it, the medieval Total War was my first. Uh, it was Total my War first game. as well, yeah. <laughs> and my favorite. It's not my favorite anymore, but it was my favorite when I first played it. It's excellent for its time. Rome 1 yeah, blew it out of the water, though. It was though. revolutionary. Rome 1 was revolutionary. Rome 1 just blew my fucking mind. Yep. Medieval and when two. I switch yeah. from Medieval Total War to Rome Total War and I like uh, opened the tutorial and the first battle started, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. I was like that as well. And the campaign map, I was like, wait a second, I don't move from region to region, I actually have movement points? What the fuck is this? And then I became addicted. I was more like, colors, wow. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know, the medieval Total War was not just that colored. <laughs> it... Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. Yeah. So, the Irish campaign, how is it going? Have you watched up to episode 13? Uh, yep. That's exactly where we are then, this is episode 14, so you... You have the advantage of knowing exactly where I'm up to. I've conquered Scotland. I've conquered from Lancaster to York, um, up on the northern border. Um, well, that's my southern border, actually. And I'm pressing down on the English and soon-to-be Welsh pieces of shit. What are they doing? Just kill them. That's kill exactly them. right. Just fucking kill them. That's it. Just fucking kill them. I'm not at war with the Welsh yet, but soon... Oh, look at all those archers. This is gonna be oh, delicious. Oh, poor Welsh. Fuck the Welsh. Fuck everyone that's not me. <laughs> hey! What? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, the Welsh, like, you know, they have their language and stuff. And... You can call it a language, it's more like gibberish. <laughs> I think I think the Welsh are used to that kind of payouts, but seriously, you you can't pronounce what they say. It's like Polish. It's just it's just garbage. Not garbage, gibberish. They're interesting la languages to listen to, but not, you wouldn't not you wouldn't the learn Poles them. Not Poles speak Polish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, the Polish take pride in the fact that their language is incomprehensible. I'm speaking to a number of Poles. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I like I like Polish. Proud of. Don't get me wrong, I like Polish people, but the language is fucked, and I think they're aware of it. It's just, just looking at it, it's just like, what the fuck is that? I've seen cryptic, yeah, cryptic like puzzles they, that are It's like they match the keyboard and just press enter. <laughs> what I, what I describe the it as, languages. the person who, who, um, people who, who invented the, the language <laughs> were munching on, on chewing gum like really really sticky chewing gum and honey at the same time and so the, the also language also vodka yeah and oh uh, yeah I guess yeah yeah they also take pride that they <laughs> yeah pretty much alright what am I doing here I'm going to besiege this settlement it's neutral but I don't give a fuck which one? um Carnarvon Carnarvon Ah, yeah, it's the Welsh, it's a Welsh castle, I know. Mm. I remember it. It's the capital. 
Wait, it's not Welsh? Yeah, it's Welsh. So you declared war? I declared war. Yeah, shit. You are drunk. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that drunk. I always declare war. What are you talking about? I'm... Remember when you uh, messed the southern border with the northern border? Yeah, you're drunk. <laughs> I've only had a couple of drinks, so there's still more to come. I've, I've, I'm on to wine and vodka today. Mixing my drinks. Uh, from what I know, that's not the perfect combo. Ah, oh, fuck the perfect combo. What is the perfect combo? Well, definitely not wine and vodka. Ah, uh, whatever. Whatever. Just kill them well. Uh, I'll kill them everywhere. The, the people on the internet call them sheep shaggers. Sheep shaggers. That's New Zealand. You know, like like us, uh, like uh, Kiwis. That's, that's New Zealand, yeah. Sheep shaggers. I've been to New Zealand. Yeah, your uh, your uh, neighbors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. So to be honest, um, what's it called? Um, uh, what's the face? I oh, forget the blend. Indonesia is closer. You know, uh, in cartoons, when they uh, dig a tunnel and they reach China, you know? Yeah. Uh, if I dug, I began to dig, dig a tunnel from Romania, I would reach New Zealand. <laughs> Most probably. Probably, that's yeah. That's what we are taught in geography classes. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's probably right, yeah. Well, close to Australia, where we are on the opposite side of the world from everywhere important. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and everything is upside down. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> if you think so, maybe if you're looking at it from your point of view, through dirt, through fucking, what is it, 10,000 miles of dirt, then maybe we look like we're walking upside down. But that's fucking gravity. Okay, we all, we're all pointing towards the center of the planet. Fuck. Sure. What am I doing? So, do you plan to make any more uh, medieval Total War campaigns like the one with the Danes, or you are done with it? Um, I I could I could make some more. The the problem that I had with the Danes though was lack of manually resolve. Like it just fucked with my videos. So yeah, you need the older computer. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's not you need a new computer. You need an older one, and that's kind of weird because like I keep upgrading this. So <laughs> I have an old PC that, uh, and the the, ma uh, the manual battle still works, which is good. But when I look at them coming from Rome Total War, it's like <laughs> it doesn't have the same feel anymore. Yeah. Oh shit. Or you could try a Shogun one. Oh, no, 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 I've tried. Nobody has ever done that before. No, it, it's fucked. I bought the game recently, like, a few years back, and it just, it won't play. Not even the campaign? No, no, it's fucked. It's too old. I get about a couple of turns into it before it crashes. Beyond Reconcile, that one. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> oh, man, I'm fucking stuck in these settlements well. because I can't get my public order under control. Oh, then again, I got shit tons of cash. So maybe I should... I hate to say it, maybe I should turtle a little bit. Not turtle, but just consolidate. Get my public order under control. Because mm. all these cities are fucking drunk, like me. Uh, from what I saw from your Steam profile, it means you're playing the non-Steam version of uh, Medieval 2 and Rome 1, right? That's right, yeah. I've got the disc version, so I never upgraded to Steam version because I don't see the point. Yeah, back when Game GameSpy was shut down, we were given Steam keys to for the game we had the CDs. I gave them away because I don't see the point. 
someone can have the game I bought, like, you know? Yeah. Um, plus the games are only like 10 bucks. Like, 10 bucks to me is... Pff, I don't give a shit about 10 bucks. Um, 10 bucks? 10 dollars. Like, like, here, Medieval 2, I bought it for... Um, Medieval 2, I bought it for, I think, 5 bucks. Wait, you are talking of Australian bucks? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, you're, you're part of the European Union. Then, Union. like... Uh, no, we don't use euros. It's probably smart. <laughs> Yet. Huh? Well, um... But now I saw... I bought it a long time ago. And now, right now it's like three dollars. And... Uh, oh, yeah, this heat Shogun is one is like one dollar. Yeah, well, Shogun 1 is, is so fucking old. So old. Yeah, <sighs> like Age of Empires kind of old. <laughs> but Age of Empires is shit comparison to Total War. Like, I bought Age of Empires 3 a few years back, and I was just like, what is this garbage? This isn't fucking anything like Total War. Fuck off. This is a waste of my money. Well, uh, I'm afraid to say that I enjoyed it because it was something different. Not Total War, of course, not in compared to Total War, but it was fine. <laughs> I'm not I'm not here to play games that are fine. I want to I want to command a thousand. I want to command ten thousand troops and storm cities, not stupid buildings with one and one red coat. Yeah, an exterminate. <laughs> yeah, there is no ex there's no civilians in it. I don't know, whatever. I don't want to talk about Age of Empires 3. When I saw in the Medieval 2 that there's no exterminate option, I was... Uh, wait, what? there is one. Yes, there is. <laughs> uh, there was another option that was missing. There was no enslave. It was just a sack. And... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's better to never... sack, it's the best option. Well, it depends. I usually don't exterminate. Exterminating kills off the population. It's good for public order, but usually sack sorts it out. Just fine. It's only in extreme yeah. circumstances should you be exterminating anyone. In Rome, however, fucking exterminate to your heart's content. In Rome, the squalor. Yeah, the squalor gets annoying. But in this, it's not so bad. There was a mod that fixed it. No, no, you don't. You don't mod games to make it easier. Well, I don't think that uh, exterminating your cities to reduce squalor it's uh, more uh, realistic or easier. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, some people play for realistic. I don't. I don't care about how realistic it is. Um, well, to 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 a degree, you want it to be somewhat realistic. But in regard to Everyone's got a different idea of what's realistic or not, and whatever. I, to be honest, I like vanilla. Yeah, nothing can uh, replace that feeling, you know, the music, the... What if, yeah. Except for EB. EB's music is shithouse. One of the main reasons I don't play what it that mean? much. E, uh, Europa, uh, Europa Barbarum. Europa Barbarorum? Yeah. Um, the music is just garbage, I think. I don't remember it. <laughs> I guess that's, that was bad if I don't remember it. Yeah. it's. I used to like turn off the music and just like play something else. So I was just like, this is horseshit. <laughs> it's foggy. What about uh, Europa Barbarorum 2? You tried it? I haven't played it yet. I haven't got time. I've been playing um, Third Age Total War. Whoa. Yeah, and I heard the Lord that of the Rings. I tried it. I heard that EB2 isn't complete. So, not too keen well, to play it. Well, it isn't. Yet. It also had a shit ton of hype around its release. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. If I was going to do one, I should have done one at release. I, uh, but now is probably not a good idea. Yeah, 
I was personally disappointed when I tried it first, but um, it was better than the ROM 2 release. <laughs> Yeah, so here we, here we go. Here's evidence that I've been playing Third Age Total War. My music has been put down to 0% because copyright. <laughs> Unless I remember to fix the banners. Damn it, YouTube. Yeah, it's it's not just YouTube. It's, it's just copyright in general, and it does make sense. I mean, it has copyrighted music in it. Sure. So... You gotta respect the copyright owner and not use it. That's why I have yeah, a license but there's for Total. People like uh, PewDiePie that uh, get away with it very easily just because they get YouTube a lot of money. Um, yeah. They don't care about copyright. Well, no, I wouldn't say that he doesn't care about copyright. He probably has copyright access to it. Oh shit, they're going around this way. When you have money, of course you have. <laughs> hey, if I had as much money as PewDiePie, I'd do whatever the fuck I want as well. So, I, I think people need to stop bagging him out Who so much. Me? Yeah. He's, he's alright, I don't... I mean, you, you don't get fucking 30 million subscribers by being shit. Some people enjoy him and... Uh, captured the enemy general. Yeah, there's a lot of hate for him, but uh, he actually knows what to do to get those money. Yeah, that's it. It's he just, knows what people the are just jealous. Wants. Don't be so jealous. I can't stand jealousy. Yeah, I, I think they it's... wouldn't say that if they they had uh, four million dollars a year. That's exactly right. People need to not be so goddamn jealous. I hate fog. I can't fucking see my ass from my dick in this fucking weather. <laughs> Yeah, you forgot to swear. What do you mean I forgot to swear? I have to swear when it's appropriate. I can't just be like, fuck this, fuck, fuck, fuck. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> otherwise you devalue the yeah, swear I word. Yeah, I guess so. Devalue the swear word otherwise. Swearing, swearing is a beautiful thing and you've got to, you've got to take it with care. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, that song when Medieval 2 starts, that's a song that to stay with me, you know. That one. And the shadows of the soldiers passing by the menu screen. <laughs> yeah. You can't well, forget those. These Welsh are even shit, shitter than the Irish. They're rout they routed before I even got to them. They're like, holy shit, it's troops. Yeah, they don't realize that they're actually soldiers. Or supposed to be soldiers. Yeah. Oh, but they all. I remember they, they had like poor morale. They're extremely poor. P yeah, whatever. Yeah, it was actually the first campaign I tried in the Britannia expansion for Medieval 2. The Welsh. <laughs> I like conquered half of England in several turns and it was pleasurable. Yeah, it's always pleasurable to conquer heaps. Seems to be it's always to pleasurable to kill Englishmen. <laughs> oh, just kill your enemies. It doesn't matter what country they're from. Though I tend to take special pride in taking down the Mexicans. <laughs> I, I really have to lay off the Mexicans, though. I'm getting a lot of flack for that sometimes. But they're just so easy to pay out. They're an easy target. You know? I mean, it's Mexico. Oh man, I can't fucking see a thing in this So world. what was your favorite faction? Hmm? In what game? Your favorite faction from... Wait. The enemy is badly bloody. They have lost half their men. What? Favorite faction what from What was which... your favorite faction from any Total War game? Rome. Just, in... just Rome. Rome, 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 Rome. <laughs> Rome, Rome 1 and Rome 2, Rome. That's not very original, though. I don't care if it's not original, that's my favorite. I'm not gonna base my, what I think is my favorite. Wait, did I already win this? I already won. Ha! 2411 and killed. One, Julii. Yeah, pretty much, because they're red. I, I do like the color red. 
There's so much good things in life that's red. Blood. That's about it. And that was an easy fucking battle. I just took on a full stack and lost 51 men. And I'm drunk. And like you said, I'm drunk. Although, I really shouldn't be drunk. I've only had two or three drinks. <laughs> Excuse me. Sort of. Man, the Welsh are shit. Well, at least from what I saw there. Um, okay, what else are we doing? So yeah, what's it like living in Romania? Wait, we you're supposed to be asking me you questions. Should just... Yeah. Well, um, wait a second. What's your favorite unit from any total war game? Um, cavalry. That's a funny thing. What like, kind of cavalry? Just I like a mix of cavalry. They're just versatile. Like you need. To, okay. You, it's not really about favorite unit. It's about uh, unit cohesion. A unit by themselves does not make up an army. It's the, the way they react with the rest of their forces, like the way that cavalry support infantry and the way the missile cavalry are able to do their maneuvering and shit and what what the 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 use of light cavalry is. So I, in that way, I don't really have a favorite because it depends on the situation that you're in. Wow, we're here at Pembroke. Man, these Welsh are falling like flies. But then again, I keep doing my dodgy tactics. I don't even give a shit. With, yeah. With the Irish, you should just spam Galloglage. What? I can't even get them yet. Or something, I don't know. Ah. How can you not... Well, I, look, I don't, I don't... You, it means you rush did everything. I always rush everything. You don't, you don't wait until you get your best unit before declaring war. Look, what I do is I just recruit whatever's available and just fucking throw them at the enemy. That's what I do. I don't care if it's... Oh, I've yeah, got a, I I've guess got a you few. are not that kind of person who turtles. No, totally can't stand it. Fuck off with turtling. Cannot stand... Turtling. Give me just just give me whatever you got and I'll I'll take on whatever. I'm gonna take on Chester as well. Uh what was the hardest campaign you had ever played? Um hardest camp the uh peasant campaign. Ah oh, yeah I remember this one. Oh, it was so insane, it was ridiculous. Uh, you posted on the Total War Center w yeah. with Egypt, you did it, right? Yeah, I haven't finished putting it all up on YouTube, though. My king. Aye. Move out. Aye. Yeah. Forward. Yeah, Forward. it's just that it takes me a long time to do those videos because I didn't have the mic that I do now. So I didn't record my commentary while I was doing it. So it's one of those scripted episodes, seasons, whatever. Where, where are we going? Uh, yeah, go that. Yeah, there's no no Irish culture anywhere. Let's see. Uh, look, I'll leave behind these Ulster swordsmen. Let's have a look. God damn it! You should just convert them. Yeah, just convert them. It's so easy. Just hey, all of you, just convert. Bingo, done. I'm not gonna sit there and wait for this shit. <laughs> You gotta keep moving, you need momentum to win I wars. remember that. Momentum. Everything's all about momentum. That's true, it's just about everything in like life. Like in the Paradox games, when you have a convert culture button. <laughs> ah, don't talk to me about Paradox games. Well, you played the Europa Universalis? Yeah, but they bore me sometimes. 
There we go. It's under slow. It's very it's slow. And hard. Nah, I wouldn't say hard. They're just slow. They're hard for somebody who likes to rush like me. Because I'm just like, I just want to kill everyone. That's why I never got into it. I always try. I tried Victoria 2, I tried Crusader Kings 2, but never. It just couldn't. It was too slow. It's very slow. And they take the campaigns take such a long time. Like, don't get me wrong, they're good games, but. For somebody who likes fast pace and momentum and likes to get into the grid of it and hates diplomacy, they're not really for me. They're not designed for people like me. I guess so. Yeah. Well, come on. Ask, ask, um, ask some really, some really gritty questions. I'm sure you've got a few, because the time's, our time's running up. What kind of questions? Well, it's up to you, whatever you want. Um... What was the closest moment you thought you are going to die? What, in real life? Yep. I've never really thought I'm going to die. As in, like, I've never had a near-death experience. I've been hit by a car, but that didn't kill me. And you didn't even think about it? Nah. I didn't really get that hurt. It means you're tough. Yeah, pretty much. It takes a lot to fucking hurt me. Hmm. Yeah, it might not, it might not look like it, but... Did you yeah. ever get in uh, real trouble because of your swearing? I, I live in Australia. This is, this is the land of the swearing. We don't get into trouble for swearing. I swear, I swear at work. I walk around saying fuck at work and everyone laughs. You know? I don't just, you know, talking to a customer, I don't, don't swear at them, but... Yeah. No, I don't get into trouble for it. You just need to know when to swear. When it's okay and when it's not. That's what that's what I was taught. I was never taught. Well, actually, I was taught never to swear. But what I learned was you need to know when the right time to swear is and when the wrong time to swear is. And if you can differentiate from those moments, you'll never get into trouble for it. That's a basic knowledge. Exactly, but some people don't understand that. They're like, no, you should never swear ever, ever. It's like well, you're an idiot. Ever. Captain I didn't Roberts. used to swear, oh, but then I started high school. How old are you? Um, almost sixteen. And oh wow! Well. Man, sometimes I feel so old. I'm not that old. No, you're you're young compared to me. I'm twenty-seven. I'm nearly twenty-eight. My life's over. You should uh, check some things off your bucket list. You know what's on my bucket list? Fucking killing people in total war. That's about it. That's a life worth well spent. It, well, it depends. You know, some people would say I'm wasting my life, but fuck them. I do what I want to do. And if you got a problem with that, then you can suck my dick. People should, people, the people are like, oh, you should travel, you should go to, um, you know, Indonesia. It's like, I don't want to fucking go to Indonesia. Why should I go to some Why place? Why would you go to Indonesia? There's nothing to see there. Well, I don't know, I'm sure it's a nice place, somewhat. But, like, people are like, oh, you should do this, you should definitely see this before you die. I'm just like, I don't want to see that. I don't give a shit about Ayers Rock or anything like that. I don't care. Like, oh, don't you have a heart? I'm just like, no, not really. Fuck off. Leave me alone. People bother me too much. They want me to conform to some generalized bullshit. I'm just like, fuck off. I... Yep. That yep. sounds like Australia. Yeah. 
No, there's no reason you have to be like the others. Yeah, that's it. That's what mm -hmm. I say. What could I ask? Uh, is Abbott as bad as people say? No. Don't get me I wrong. He is. He is. A, is a dumbass. He is a dumbass. But it's not like he's Hitler. Okay, people well, overreact. He's not Hitler. He's a. They never said he was Hitler, but some people do. Just wasn't. Fuck those people. Well, the thing is, we voted him in. He's the thing is. We don't have good politicians. Like we don't have inspiring. Pop uh, we haven't had an inspiring politician since I don't ever remember. And people look at him and they think they think, oh, you know, he's a liar and all this kind of shit. And I'm just like, man, they're all fucking liars. They're all liars. It's just that he's somewhat blatant and obvious in regard to his lies. That's about it. He's about as interesting as a can of tuna. Well, if you want to get like this, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, in Australia, we have democracy, and you have the choice between a shit sandwich and a turd sandwich. Either person you 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 get in, and we're completely divided on it as well. It's just like, no, the other person's the, the right person. It's just like, the thing is, whoever we voted in is going to be bad for us because they're all they're all they're all puppets. They're all fucking idiots. Is this this is my opinion? And you know what? I haven't seen anything bad happen in in the time that he's been Prime Minister. Or well, anything really bad. So, I don't really follow politics too I much. Guess nothing happened. Yeah, that's the problem. Nothing ever happens. It's all just talk. Like, they're like, oh, he's a misogynist. I'm just like, man, I don't fucking care if he's a child raper. Just fucking... Just, just make the economy good. That's all I care about. Like, just give me more money. It's like, oh, he scrapped you carbon tax. Oh, he scrapped carbon tax. I don't fucking care about carbon tax. Bloody increase my electricity bill. Fuck you. I don't care about the planet. The planet can go to fuck for all I care. It'll outlive us all. Oh, what's your favorite historical figure? Oh, I don't know. Scipio Africanus. I'm disappointed. Why? Um, you should said Hannibal. That's why. I hate Hannibal. Why would I? Why would I like Hannibal? No, I don't. I respect Hannibal, but I love Rome. So, why would I? Why would I respect? He lost the war, and he botched up Zama. Scipio was way better. Well, Scipio had all the time to learn what Hannibal was doing and how to counter him, so... Uh, yeah, so? What's, the pro what's wrong with that? I don't see what the problem is. Yeah, it's like, um, the only battle that's unfair is the one where you lose. I don't give a shit. I don't want to hear excuses about why someone lost. I don't want to hear excuses. Um... I hate excuses. Oh, these settlements, they just do not obey me. Oh, god damn it. I mean, this shit. Oh, hang on. That should. Yeah. Public order in this area is not great. Excuse me. Oh, man, I have been drinking. Whoa. <laughs> And I smashed the Welsh in this video. The Welsh is shit. I killed Prince Daffid like he was nothing. Did you just burp? Nope. What was that? Oh, it's probably just moving at the mic. <laughs> oh, whatever. Is that the last region? That would be awesome. No, that's not gonna work. No, no. 
Ah, shit. Okay, so we'll have to wrap up this video, because there's a lot of people in the queue. So is there any anything else you want to okay. ask me? Okay. No. Just thanks for your time and everything. Yeah, no, that's okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll end the video here, guys, because there are a lot of people in the queue today. Um, so yeah, we'll end it here. Alright, guys, so thanks, Killer the... Um, oh, okay, How do I pronounce it again? Kil Kirala? Is that right? Kirala the Dacian. No, Kirila. Kirila the Dacian, there we go. <laughs> oh man, I need to get yep. more alcohol into me. Alright, so uh, thanks for... Thanks for um, coming along for this episode. Um, part 15 is next, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. And is there anything else you want to, to say? Last last few seconds. Here's your chance. Well, what what did you say? <laughs> I say to. What? You know, goodbye, fuckers. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Goodbye, fuckers.